Hey guys, it's Damien at Dark Wolf Computers again, and we got my daughter's motherboard here. This is an, a Zeus, or no, it's a Gigabyte, sorry. Aorus AX370 or X370 Gaming K5 motherboard. This is actually just a model below the one I got to replace mine. Uh, I have the Gaming K7 for my personal computer. Stock AM4, USB 3.1 Gen 2, and it has the NVMe PCI 22110M.2. It's VR ready, Verizon, Smart Fans, and RGB Fusion. So this does have RGB on it. Inside here, we got the ARS board. And that, whoops. You have the quick connect thing where you just plug the, put the fans in here, and then you can click that in for your front panel. Here's your I.O. shield. You have a RGB header extension cable. Two SATA cables, two more SATA cables. Multilingual installation guide. You have some cable labeling stickers. You have the Aorus Velcro ties. And then you have the gaming K5. Owner's manual. Now this normally would come with an Aorus metal plate too. But I got this one second hand. So it doesn't have the plate. But that's okay. Because her case is all glass. So it's really even metal plate. She has a 570X. Okay, so this is the board. It's got the black shields here with the Aorus Official Eagle. You have the Aorus over here, shield, and you have the shield here. This does have the brackets, which will come off, so we can put that race spire on there. It has four RAM slots, which do have metal reinforcements in them to strengthen them. And then the uh, you have one. You have a little light up LED thing here that lights up on the board. A little accent plate here. You have the OC power button, the over instant overclock button. You have an LED header right here on the bottom. I thought there was a second LED header. Oh yeah, right here. There's the other LED header right there. If you have an RGB cooler there. You have a couple USB 3 headers, some USB 2s. This is where this plugs in. You put the things in there and just... Clip it down on in for an easy connection. And then you have... You have seven SATA ports. And I know this is going to be a bad thing for me to say, but... You have two other ports right here. I want to say these are those, the U, let me double check here. Let me say they're the U ports, but I can't think of what they're called off the top of my head. It's late, I'm tired. It says they're SATA Express. You have eight SATA 3s and two SATA Expresses. So these are SATA Express ports. There. And you have your dark capacitors. You have your M.2. This is where that NVMe black condition drive is going to go. And then you have the amp audio. This lights up as well. On the back here, you have USB-C, USB 3.1s, USB 3s. A couple more USB 3s, another HDMI, then you have the PS2 port, networking port, 5 channel audio, and an optical audio as well. And that's all we got on this one. Thank you guys for coming out. So you want to see our, when we have new content, go ahead and hit subscribe. And if you like the video, please hit like. We appreciate 
every one of you guys for coming out and we hope you have a happy holidays and we'll see you guys next time